Hello, this is Jesse Sumrack of runrepeat.com and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Brooks Bedlam 2. This shoe is intended to be a maximal stability shoe for those with moderate to extreme pronation and since I recently fell into that category, I decided to give it a go. I've spent just about 75 miles in the Bedlam 2 so far and unfortunately it's been a rocky road in these shoes. A little background on me first. I've had some toe issues that were causing me to pronate, and the pronation was doing a number on my calves, and my fatigue calves were killing my ankles. So in the end, the doctors recommended I try a stability shoe. And with this shoe, it hasn't gone so hot. And that's keeping in mind I've run in, and still run in, Hoka's, Ultra, Solomon's, other Brooks, Vibrams, Vibo Barefoot, Nike's, uh, North Face, and many more other brands. Here's been my experience with the Bedlam 2. First, let's start with the things that I like. When I first put this shoe on, I instantly fell in love with the snug fit and the fantastic cushioning. Seriously, the Bed Bedlam 2 hugs your foot like a pillow 360 degrees. And thanks to the sock-like collar fit, the shoe fits like a glove. Most shoes I have to adjust a bit over a couple of runs to really dial in the fit, but this one was match made the moment I laced them up. And gosh. They look really good, don't they? Like, look at this shoe. It's a good looking shoe. Out of all my shoes, and it's an embarrassingly large collection, these are my wife's favorite. And her opinion means a lot, although to be honest, it's really not hard to beat a big old clunky pair of hokas. The quality of this shoe is fantastic. The knit upper feels, looks, and breathes great. The outsole doesn't have the best grip in wet conditions, but it's a durable rubber that isn't going to degrade quickly. And perhaps most importantly, the Bedlam 2s did help with my pronation. As you can see in the video, there's really no noticeable pronation. Okay, I'm sure if you slowed things down a bit, I'm sure you find it's not 100% perfect, but it's getting pretty dang close. So the shoe delivers on that promise, but at a price. Okay, on to the things that I don't like. While the shoe fixes my pronation, mostly, the guide rails technology forces my foot into a neutral running stance so far as to hurt my feet, like a lot. And I thought this would subside after 5, 10, 15 miles, but it hasn't. My feet still hurt after 75 plus miles in these shoes. It begins around the arches where the foot wants to collapse, but the shoe makes it impossible. Well, that's the point, I guess, but it hurts a lot. Seriously, I've yet to do more than a 4 mile run in this shoe, and that's because my feet start to ache after a couple miles in the bedlam. And just to make sure that it wasn't my feet that were the problem, I did take my Hoka ATR 3s on a 6 mile run, no problems. Again, took my North Face Flight Trinity out for a 7 mile run, no problems. So it's likely the shoe, or a combination of my foot problem and the shoe. Regardless, I just know it hurts, and it's taken a nearly perfect shoe and makes it nearly impossible for me to use. The shoe is a chunky beast, too. Its design looks more slim, but it really comes at a hefty 11.6 ounces. It's not a super heavy shoe, but it's not a light shoe. And I personally felt like in the energy return, it felt bouncy and light, but after a mile or two, the shoe feels heavy and I don't feel a lot of the energy coming from the shoe. It just kind of felt like my feet were slapping the ground, which is strange since I'm more of a mid-foot to four-foot runner. And at $150, this is a pricey shoe. I know it's a specialized shoe for specific needs, but this is a big bump in price for some guide rails and cushioning. So not a huge fan of the price there. But all in all, I didn't have a great experience with the Brooks Bedlam 2. That's mostly because of the pain associated with the ride. Honestly, if that wasn't present, this would likely be one of my favorite running shoes. The quality is great, I love the knit upper, the rubber outsole is fantastic. So if I had to say it's a yes, no, maybe so, I'd give this shoe a solid maybe so. Try it out, see if you experience the same pain, and if not, I think you'll fall in love with this shoe. But if you try it out and feel the same ache in your foot after 15, 20 miles wearing the shoe, don't expect it to go away. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Brooks Bedlam 2. Make sure you visit runrepeat.com for my full written review too. And if you like more info, comment below and I'll respond. Happy running!